Hey folks, today's video I'm going to show you how to make real kick-ass delicious chili, the most delicious chili you've probably ever had in your life. So if you've seen other videos on YouTube trying to show you how to make chili, try this chili. Actually make it, you leave me comments in the bottom, follow it like I teach you, you're going to love, love this chili. We've got onions in uh, olive oil. Do you see that? Cooking. We buy high grade, ground beef, grass fed. None of that crap, none of the hormones and all that. Okay, you're just gonna grab yourself a chunk. If all you have in the freezer is half of this, doesn't matter, it'll work. Get it, thaw it out. Let me see if I can bring you over here. I want to be able to let you see in the pie. Or a seasoned cook or a beginner cook. The best chili you're ever going to have in your life. Your husband or your maid or your wife is going to think you are a freaking high, high class cook, chef, whatever. Take your hamburger, throw it in your pan. We're going to break it up with a wooden utensil here. You don't have to be neat about it. Get that beef in there. Whatever ain't thawed in the middle, I'll stick back in the microwave on defrost and thaw it out so I can crumble it up as well. If you're into kitchen witching or whatever is your cup of tea, you can do it with this. This is delicious. And this can feed a lot of people. Defrost. Let that defrost. Okay. You're gonna keep your heat on like medium low. Make sure you got enough oil in the bottom of your pan. When you've got high grade beef, you don't get a lot of fat, you don't get a lot of oils off that beef. So you need to put oil into your meat when you're frying it. But the good thing about getting high quality meat that doesn't give off a bunch of its own grease is you get to pick what grease, what oil goes into your body. I'm just you know, taking this and just doing this with my wooden flat edge and just breaking up the pieces into bite-sized pieces. I don't know if you call this semi-homemade or homemade, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I have beans, black beans growing. Let me show you some of the ingredients that are going to be going into this dish besides onions and hamburger. We are going to use Del Monte. I am not sponsoring them, they are not paying me zesty chili style. Can you see that folks? You want two cans of those or one huge can. If you don't like tomatoes, cooked tomatoes, then just use one can of this size. If you love tomatoes in your chili like I do, two cans or a huge can. Del Monte zesty chili style. Next, we're going to use dark red kidney beans and we're going to drain them in a strainer before we dump them in the chili. Here's the second can of the Del Monte chili style tomatoes. We're going to use one can of cannellini beans. Generic's fine. We're also going to put that in the strainer and rinse it before we dump it in the chili. We're going to use a massive can size of chili beans. I like bushes. If you like hot, get hot. I like mild. Then we're going to use one huge can of Bush's black beans. And we're going to rinse those in a strainer. Do not rinse the chili beans in a strainer. In a, I'm sorry, in a strainer. You're going to dump this directly into the chili when it's time. Do not strain these. Then, we are going to use four mil chili, just a normal size can. And it has no beans. See that? No beans. 
Alright. Let me get my chili season. what I use for my chili season for the brunt of it. I will add cumin. I might even add a little bit more chili pepper, salt, and pepper. This is what I buy. McCormick's Chili Original. One packet. The whole packet's going to go in it. Alright. See if the rest of our hamburger can be thrown in with the rest. Now remember, I live in the Midwest, so our men here, they want meat, potatoes. No potatoes are growing in this, but they want meat. They don't want vegetarian, vegan, they don't want that crap. They want real protein. We raise cattle, pigs, sweet corn, field corn. We eat like God intended us to. Chop up your hamburger, stir it around. You want it cooked really well. Do not, do not drain out this uh, grease or anything from the hamburger. That gives flavor to your chili, folks. That's where you get your flavor. Now we're going to add garlic, salt, and pepper to this next as it's cooking. Bring as close as I can so you can see. Let me zoom in. There we go. Just like that. Use garlic. You can either use the pre chopped up garlic or you can use whole garlic cloves, but I need to finish this up, so I'm using this. Dump a good, just chunk in there. You don't even got to measure it. The more garlic the better. Ain't going to hurt nothing. We are going to get broth based seasoning. It's powder form. I'm going to show it to you. We're going to put a couple tablespoons of that in there. Just dump it in your hand. Good amount. Just like that. See how much I'm putting in there? Sprinkle it in there. That's all flavor. You got onion powder. We got onions in there. We're going to use some onion powder. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Put a good amount. Now we're going to use a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic, dry. We're putting a good amount in there. We want that flavor. Nothing scientific about it. You can never have enough garlic and onion flavor in your food. Unless, of course, you don't like garlic. And if you're allergic to garlic, then leave it out. But if you're not, dump it in. Garlic has a lot of medicinal benefits for your body. We're just going to chop this up, let it cook down. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. So now it's on medium high just to get this hamburger going. I'm going to start pre-opening all my cans, and I ain't got to do it later. Put my olive oil away. These are my Del Monte chili style tomatoes, chopped up tomatoes. The cannellini beans, the red beans, the black beans, I'm going to open them all three up right now. There's the red kidney beans I'm opening. I'm going to get a strainer and I'll move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Here's a huge can of black beans. We're going to open up the chili beans, but we are not rinsing the chili beans. Chili beans go in just like they are out of the can. They got flavoring in them makes your chili taste out of this world. 
We're going to open up our Hormel No Beans. Let me get a strainer. Here's strainer going in the sink. Let's move cannellini beans. Remember that? Right here. Cannellini. Wait. Dump them in the strainer. Chili is one of the easiest. Chili and spaghetti are the easiest dishes to make. I don't care if you can't even make toast or boil an egg. You follow this recipe, nobody will know that you can't cook. Let it run. Now we got the huge can of bush black beans. See that, folks? Dump that in there. Rinse your can out with water, dump it in the strainer. Rinse it out, dump it in. Sometimes you get little beans that stick in there and you're rinsing out your can at the same time before you put it in your trash. Next, dark red beans. Dump them in there. Rinse out your can. Throw your can away. Put it in your recyclable tub. Now, gently, gently, folks, you don't want to squish your beans all up to mush. Use hot water, cold water, doesn't even matter. Rinse those beans off. See all that? That is deliciousness. That's all going in your chili, folks. So now I'm going to bring it back over here so you can see what I'm doing. Stir this meat around, make sure it's getting well done. Looks good, smells good. All right, in go the beans. Voila. Now, in goes our can of Del Monte chili style chopped tomatoes. One can, two can. If you love tomatoes, put in three cans. Now we're putting in our chili beans. We aren't draining them. We want all the seasoning. So we're dumping it straight in from the can. Voila. See that, folks? Voila. Get yourself a spatula so it won't smash up your beans. Gently from the outside in, roll it and curl it in itself and mix it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. You get all your ingredients in together before you start seasoning it. Now, we're going to use our Hormel chili, no beans. This is for flavoring and thickening because we don't want your chili to be watery. We're not making chicken noodle soup. There we go. That's clean. Mix that in gently so you don't smash up your beans and turn it into mush. Okay, now I want more juice. This is what I use. Go to hy V, go to Econo, go anywhere that, ha or not Econo, go to hy V, Walmart, anything. Bloody Mary, it's just tomato mix with seasoning, celery, things like that. Dump in a little bit of it. You don't have to go crazy. Dump it into the texture that you want. You want a little bit of juice, but you want it thick. You don't want it watery like chicken noodle soup, but you don't want it thick either like cement. Mix that all together. Smells fantastic. Haven't even seasoned it with the chili and the cumin yet. We're doing good. Next. We're going to turn our heat down because now we want to go for the simmering and we're going to add the herbs and we want it to simmer so that those herbs have time to blend in with the meat, the onions, the beans and flavor everything. Good cooking takes time. But chili is one of the easiest things a human being can ever make in their life. So is spaghetti. Okay. Give this a good toss, mix it up. 
I'm going to use my spatula to get around the sides, clean up the sides, make it look appealing, not like a train wreck. That goes for anything you do. It doesn't matter if you're making soap. It doesn't matter if you're making other body products. It doesn't matter if you're making a craft. It doesn't matter if you're gardening. You clean up after yourself so that you're not doing everything like a kindergartner in a complete freaking disastrous mess. Now comes the seasonings. Open up the pack. McCormick Original Chili Style Seasoning. We're dumping the whole pack in. I'm going to find my cumin. Let's see if it's over here. Oh, let's see here. Yep, right here's it. We're going to put this much cumin into the chili. It's a good amount, folks. See that? That's a good heaping amount. Dump it in. We're going to use some chili powder. See the chili powder? Smell it. It can be generic. It can be Tony's. It don't matter. Get yourself some chili powder. Same thing. We're going to put a big mound in our hand. Dump that in. Now comes the salt and the pepper. Here's the pepper. Here's the salt. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Put a good amount of salt in there. Get your tool. Stir all the seasoning in, turn it down to low because we're going to be putting a lid on it and it's going to cook for about an hour or more. It's going to melt all these together. This is good leftovers for chili dogs. Get yourself some generic buns. Get yourself some cheap on sale hot dogs. That's good leftover meal for the next night. Now you can focus on housework or gardening or organizing, cleaning out car, uh, closets, going through drawers, you know, whatever you want to plan for the next day. You ain't got to worry about dinner. All you got to do is boil yourself up some hot dogs or throw them right in here. Put the pan on low, put the lid on it, let it cook for an hour or two before the men are home. Got yourself meal number two for the second night in a row. Now the next thing we're going to do is taste this. You always taste your food. Mmm. That's good stuff. That's delicious. Wash off. If I take a bite, and taste it. Mix it all around. I'm going to clean it up with my spatula. There you go, folks. You want the best chili you ever had? Right there was it. Let me know in the comments. Actually make this.